The state of California is facing a huge problem, a widespread flood that has been ongoing for weeks and is expected to last for at least two years. This crisis is the result of extreme weather, historically high snowfall from the Sierra Nevada, and a dramatic resurrection of Tulare Lake in California's Central Valley. Satellite images taken of the region by the Earth Imaging Company, Planets Labs, show a drastic transition from a dry basin to a wide and deep lake, across a 10-mile stretch of pre-existing farmland that grows a variety of necessary crops such as almonds, tomatoes and cotton. The effects of this flooding could result in billions of dollars of economic losses and could potentially displace thousands of farmers and residents in the spot, due to the weakened levees, dams and other flood infrastructure in the area. Governor Gavin Newsom has paid a visit to view the damage and shared that the worst is still to come with continued flooding. The water in the lake bed, which used to be the largest body of freshwater west of the Mississippi River in the late 1800s, before it was diverted for agricultural irrigation, is set to trigger major economic losses and financial difficulties for the small farming communities dealt with this resurrection of Tulare Lake. Newsom has shared that the state is taking action with its federal and local counterparts to provide on-the-ground assistance and the support needed. The team is also coming up with a plan to divert the water before it ever reaches the lake bed. In order to provide shelter assistance for the displaced residents and supplies such as sandbags, mussel walls and rocks and sand to help stabilize rivers and levees. Climate change is worsening the situation, with an unusually wet season, intense atmospheric river storms and rising temperatures near 100 degrees in the San Joaquin Valley. On top of this, the research team at Scripps Institution of Oceanography at UC San Diego found that climate change could increase the resulting flood damage up to $3 billion annually by the end of the century. Now more than ever, California needs the help of its citizens to help prevent the spread of this flooding and the damage it could cause if not contained. Come join us and do your part to help California Central Valley and bring an end to this intense flooding as soon as possible.